Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us His truth according to the Bible. And double Shalom to all the Akims out there pushing the truth to the best of their ability. It's Brother Rod coming to you with a GMS on the go. All right, and like I always say, these videos are only for the hopeful elect, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Only a hopeful elect is going to hearken to the truth. All right, and through the Spirit, I just want to do a quick video on some of the benefits of seeking the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus. So let me, let's jump right into it. The book of Amos chapter 5, verse 4. For thus saith the Lord unto the house of Israel. The Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, is saying unto the house of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Seek ye me. Right? And how you how is the hopeful elect going to seek the Lord? All right, because the Lord's got his men set up on the highways and byways, on a chief concourse in just about every major city. All right. And so the Lord is saying for those that is going to seek him or seek his men, all right, and let's read on, and ye shall live. So the ones seeking the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, are the ones that are going to live. All right, and how are you living? All right, well, we're going to get into that further on, but um, the main thing is I want, to, I want to hit on the fact that the Lord is saying, seek ye me, and ye shall live. All right, that's one of the benefits of seeking the Lord is living. And we're going to get into um, a quick top or a quick description of what living consists of. All right. Next scripture I want to get is Amos 5 and 14, which reads, seek good and not evil. All right. So what's good? Good is of these scriptures, all right? That's written for our learning. Anything that is in support or in, in, in and align with what Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai has written for our learning and the way of life um, based on the Bible is good. But anything going against it, all right, like following behind these damn heathens, man, celebrating these pagan holidays, you know, you got Thanksgiving coming up in two or three days. All that shit is evil. And excuse my French, all right, celebrating um, Christmas, right? Eating these abominable foods like shrimp, crab, lobster, pork, liver, catfish. You know, those are considered evil things, man. You're going against the Bible. Sleeping with the next man's woman, getting tattoos, right? Smoking weed, selling drugs. All those things are considered evil, man. Those are, that's against um, your heritage. That's against the Bible. And it reads on, that ye may live. So there's that word live again. And like I said, we're going to, you know, Lord willing, we're going to get into it further down the lesson. And the reason on, and so the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, the power of hosts shall be with you as ye have spoken. So the Lord is going to be with you. All right. How's the Lord going to be with you? By having his angels around you, by providing, providing for you in your troubled times. Right. Making sure that you're taken care of, all right? If you're seeking the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, all right? Let's see. Next scripture I want to bring out is uh, Psalm 16 and 11. So let's go into what life consists of because that word life showed up a few times, uh, a couple of times in both scriptures. Let's see. 16 and 11. All right, the book of Psalm, chapter 16, verse 11. Thou will show, <clears throat> Salakia, let's read from the top. The book of Psalm, chapter 16, verse 11. Thou will show me the path of life. So this is the path of life for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that want to seek the Lord. <clears throat> In thy presence is fullness of joy. So if you're seeking the Lord, you have Salaki Israel. I got a phone call while I was trying to record a video. All right. But um, let's jump right into Psalm 16 and 11, which reads, Thou 
will show me the path of life. So we're getting into what um, living consists of. When you're seeking the Lord, as we read in Amos 5 and 4 and 5 and 14, the Lord is going to provide you with life. So it reads, <clears throat> in thy presence is fullness of joy. So seeking life is, is um, a presence of, of joy, you know, and um, that's a testimony to not just me, but uh, no, I, I can speak for, I know a lot of brothers of GMS, right? We were part of the congregation of the dead before we got into the truth. When we sought the Lord, of course, the Lord chose us to be in his truth, right? But we've been joyful to know what's to come. We got the kingdom ahead. Right. And then also the Lord's been um, taking care of us, man. It's been it's, it's been so peaceful. Right. In this truth it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing to have a peace of mind. All right. And to um to be well taken care of. Right. Through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shot. Right. The Lord's providing us with brotherhood. You know, it, it's, it's a beautiful thing. So um, <clears throat> that's part of the, the, the part of life, the fullness of joy. And it reads on at thy right hand. That's right, because righteousness is the right hand, which um, Yahweh Shai sits on. And then on the left, you have um, uh, Satan, which is death. But in this case, you're on the right hand, right? And it reads on, there are pleasures forevermore. So there are many pleasures we can't even fathom, all right, of, of being, um, of, of receiving life, all right, by seeking the Lord. Many pleasures we can't even think of, all right? Brothers be getting blessings that are unexpected. The first thing we do is to water your house by Shemi Shai. Thank you, Lord, for this blessing. Right? That's part of um uh, pleasures forevermore. And we're under captivity. So if we're receiving blessings and pleasures on this side, you know, what can't you imagine or can't even imagine what we're gonna receive in the kingdom? Right? It's many pleasures, and that's life, man. This ain't, you know, um, being being in the congregation of the dead with two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, that's not life. That's death, man, right? Not knowing if your so-called friend in, in, in the world is going to stab you in the back, literally, all right? Or, or um, you know, set you up or do something evil to you, right? Or you don't know if, if, if um, you know, you're out hanging out with, with some friends and, and you just you just never know, man. Being in this congregation of the dead... You're amongst a, a, a bunch of evil spirits, man. You just never know, right? Somebody can just walk up to you and, and, and kill you, right? Because you decided to seek death instead of life, right? But when you seek the Lord, you have Hashem, you have Shai, the right side, the Lord's going to protect you, right? You know? So I'm going to read from the top again, the book of Psalms, chapter 16, verse 11. Thou will show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. And that's a beautiful thing, man, to know that you're going to receive pleasures forevermore, right? And it's, it, like I said, it, it's something that we can't even fathom, man. It's like, you know, you know the, what the Lord has done for you. Many um, miracles on this side under captivity, right? But what's to come in the future is even more beautiful. And Lord willing, with some of those men, um, the elect, you know, we'll be able to be the first fruits, man, in the kingdom. You know, but the Lord is going to provide <clears throat> many pleasures, right, forevermore. And that's that life. <clears throat> so next scripture I want to bring out is uh, Proverbs 8 and 35. So like it. Yeah, 8 and 35. <clears throat> Which reads, For whosoever findeth me, findeth life. And that's fine in the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. See, once you once you seek the Lord, you gotta pray that the Lord reveals things to you. You gotta pray that the Lord chooses you, whether to be in the truth or whether to receive some of the um mysteries um that, that he's gonna speak through his men. Right? <clears throat> so and, and then you'll be able to find life. And what we what we just talked about, life is the um, you know, pleasures evermore. And reads on, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. So that's the other benefit of <clears throat> uh, seeking the Lord is receiving favor, right? Receiving favor is is a, um, a beautiful thing, man. All right, receiving favor of being in His truth because two thirds of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are in the congregation of the dead. So for you to have favor and to be in His truth and receive um, the knowledge and wisdom that 
a lot of these people aren't getting, a lot of his people aren't getting on this side, that's favor. All right? And then also, you know, with these prophecies coming to pass, um, brothers always talk about Jacob's trouble because it's coming. All right? You want to have favor then. That favor is mercy. All right? And that word mercy goes back to kindness. All right? So <clears throat> the Lord is going to have favor and mercy, you know, um, if you're seeking him. Right. And you can't just say you're seeking the Lord and you're not trying to um, you're not trying to, um, um, you know, um, ask for forgiveness. All right. You're not trying to repent and love the Lord. But two benefits that we've read so far is receiving life and then also uh, obtaining favor. It's a beautiful thing to receive favor from the one who controls all things. You want to receive um, the bad in the stick. You want the good in the stick. You want the right side, right? Which, which um, gives you many pleasures, man, uh, evermore. Pursuant to the last scripture we read, which was, I believe, uh, Psalm 16 and 11. So back from the top, Proverbs 8 and 35, for whosoever, that whosoever is talking about you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, because these heathens can't seek the Lord. It's not in their spirit. Um, the scriptures weren't writ for their um their learning. So stop trying to save these heathens. That whosoever is talking about um you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Right? And it reads on, findeth me, findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Next scripture is Proverbs 21 and 21. Which reads. He that followeth after righteousness, and that's these scriptures, seeking the Lord. <clears throat> and it reads on, and mercy. Because, yeah, we're, we're, um, you know, we're um, seeking the Lord for, for righteousness and mercy. And it reads on, findeth life. And there it goes back to, um, to finding life again. That's Amos 5 and 4, Amos 5 and 14. And it reads on, <clears throat> righteousness and honor. So I'm going to read from the top, the book of Proverbs, chapter 21 and 21. He that followeth after righteousness and mercy findeth life, righteousness and honor. So those are all great things to receive from this, from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, that word honor goes back to respect. So you receive in life, and, and I keep mentioning what uh, the path of life and what it provides um, is uh, pleasures evermore. And then also receiving mercy, kindness, right? Receiving mercy from the Lord, that, that's kindness, all right? Uh, righteousness, which is uh, receiving good, right? Receiving good of these scriptures, man. Receiving um, wisdom and knowledge. And then also honor. you receiving respect. All right, the Lord is identifying um, those that are seeking Him and following after righteous, um, following after the righteousness of the Lord, is is considered um, an honor. Right, so you know it, it's important for um, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans to seek the Lord. It's a very important thing because it's going to provide you with, um, you know, many benefits. And two of them we read is life, and then also uh, favor. And Lord knows we could use a lot of that in these times. So with that being said, um, before I close out, I want to give all praises and honor and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the truth according to the Bible. And the double shalom to all the Akims out there pushing the truth to the best of their ability, regardless of whom here forbears. Shalom.